Uh, one of the first places to start um, after you've established a baseline is understanding when a player has a naturally high versus low spin rate. Uh, one of the ways you can see that is with our data guides um, to see for that player's age level, if that's high school, if it's certain levels of college, what that average spin rate is for that, that grouping. One thing we've kind of learned over the years at Rapsodo uh, and feedback from the baseball and softball world is it's hard to increase a player's max spin rate. Uh, so it's pretty common of a first place to start with an athlete is how you can use high versus low, uh, low spin rate as a strength. Um, a thing we've learned is that the higher spin rate can cause deception, uh, just like low could. So we often see in baseball athletes able to go up in the strike zone, even if they're not the hardest throwing velocity for their age group. Uh, you can create deception with high spin rate by going up in the zone. And again, even if that's not the highest velocity, we still see sings and misses because the higher spin rate is deception based on that hitter where more commonly they're seeing that average spin rate. If a player has a naturally low spin rate, uh, that just means that ball is going to have more natural sink to it, uh, which can create deception low in the zone. Uh, we even see players at the MLB level that do have that below average sink that can be very effective due to the natural drop on that ball.